Peace, fam. I'm going to share this to a few groups. And like always, get started. We have a few pit stops along the way. I have to uh, stop at Duncan and grab a coffee for your boy. And uh, have to grab something. I'm getting my... Uh, my iPad mini fix so I could give it to my son. So I have to go pick that up. But today's video is what's really going on with you. And uh, <clears throat> like always, it's a, it's a deep thing. But uh, like I said, just go share to a few groups. It's okay for y'all to share too if y'all want, if y'all can. Let me... uh. Get rid of uh, the unnecessary stuff that I leave in my car. And then we can get started. Oh, there's Q. Ooh. So, <clears throat> how's everyone doing? Peace and love. Tony, what up? Tyra, what up? Yo, Roots, Birch, what up? Kita, I think I'm saying it right. Kita Rising, what up? Porta, Banks, Miss Banks. Oh, shit. <clears throat> what up? So, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to get started. So, with anything that I try to speak on, I try to talk on things that resonate or relate to uh, realistic <clears throat> experiences. So, I'm talking to a client today. And I'm explaining to her what we're dealing with. Same, it's, it's kind of like a generic. Um, information that I try to give all my clients before we begin. <clears throat> and I feel like it's necessary, important for everyone to kind of uh, grasp the simple but deep uh, concept. You are that which comes before you. Meaning that you are a combination or a combination of that which comes before you. That combination or combination is what you would refer to as your body. <clears throat> and it is combined of cells. And these cells make you up give you your existence, animate you. Now, the interesting thing about these cells that science at least will tell you is that all cells have, well, I'm assuming all cells have something called cell membranes. Mem. Very similar, it's very similar to uh, men, like minute, but mem, M-E-M. -E and mem is an abbreviation Give me a different accent. Sorry about that. <clears throat> All right, so uh, MEM is an abbreviation or a short for a word we use in the life called memory. 
Mem Mori. It's, a, it's an interesting combination. Me the Mori. But memory. Mori's gave you your language, just so you know. So you go to see the word more, Mori, Murray, those things associated to certain words. But just stay with me. So each cell contains what you would call a membrane or a memory, a cellular memory. So if there are memories stored in our cells, and our cells consist of that which comes before us, which can be referred to as ancestors, also could be referred to as aliens, also could be referred to as animals, also could be referred to as angels. This is why they all have Adam. This is why they all have an A associated with it. Because it's kind of showing you that ah frequency. And ah represents uh, an idea, which is what we're dwelling within now. <clears throat> an idea. A combination of ideas. And those combination of ideas create your society, your culture, your country your world but anyway and remember these uh ideas is that which comes before us <laughs> we didn't create the idea of a road it was here when you got here so you get what i'm saying so just move forward so if the cells hold memories because this this adds up to something i'm not just giving you this corny ass introduction for no reason i really need people to grasp if your cells Hold memories <clears throat> Memories of you Or memories of that which comes before you <clears throat> Of course it will be the memories of that which comes before you Now the memories of our ancestors Are uh, written in text Meaning you know their struggles You're kind of The uh, Rep uh, Rep, rep recoup, Recuperate you are, you are that which comes after their struggle. <laughs> you are kind of the beneficiaries. There we go. That's the word, baby. Of uh, that which they went through. Like, women couldn't vote. That's your ancestors. That is locked away as a memory in your body. So when a woman feels like she can't speak up, or when a woman feels like she doesn't have the right, the, the equal rights as a man, and there's something in her holding her back, those are the ancestors. Those are the cellular memories stored within the ancestors that make you up, that's kind of animating you or projecting that emotion or memory upon you. Does this make sense? Is that kind of grasp? I just want to see, because I'm, I'm going to go deeper with it, but I just want y'all to grasp that. The restrictions in your life is not always your own. The restrictions in your life can kind of be on a cellular level. So I was explaining another concept to my client. I said, what you have to understand, we're dealing with ancestors. It doesn't matter which way you look at it. This is what we're dealing with. Ancestors. That which comes before you. Remember, ancestors, the title. I don't want you to look at like uh, um, uh, the elderly woman is not my ancestor. Yes, the hell she is because we're not related. Yes, 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 she is because she is that which comes before you. She is an ancestor. That's what that represents. But this is why you respect your elders. But we were, we're all the way lost. We were all the way pew, out of out of this world. Weird flex. Anyway, I was explaining to her, I said, uh, you have to understand that you have certain capabilities or possibilities. And that's the word I want to use, possibilities. You have certain possibilities, capabilities, possibilities, capabilities, possibilities, capabilities, stored within your body. And do you know why you can't access them? What can I get for you today? Can I have a medium hot? French, vin no, 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 it's, it's holiday season. Let me get a pumpkin spice with four creams and one sugar. Still medium hot? Yeah, hot, medium hot. Hot pumpkin spice, four creams, one sugar. Anything else? That's it. All right, until it's 224, the window. Thank you. So, you know that you have these capabilities, these possibilities, these abilities. Hello, sir. How you doing? Yourself. Wonderful. 
cape. Don't superheroes wear capes? Cape abilities? Do you know what your cape abilities are? Here you go. Appreciate it. That coffee will be right out. All right, thank you. Grass, do you know your cape abilities? Do you know your pos? Remember, pos like posture. Abilities. These words deep. I'm going to keep going. I'm just kind of waiting for my coffee. Like running hell late. Deep thing. All right, so <laughs> how you just text me? You live now? I mean, I'm a superhero. <laughs> I got capabilities. <laughs> All right, so listen, listen. So if you know that you have capabilities possibilities stored locked away within you how do you bring them out well i want you to think of this like a house if you was a child and you know that the world has capabilities for you like you're capable of being in this world but you stuck in the house this world has possibilities and it's possible wiggle say hi tell wiggle i said what up and you know that if you step outside the world that this world gives you these possibilities. But what happens when you're within this house? Now, if it's your own house, you define your own rules. You leave, come and go as you choose. You get to access the possibilities of the world as you choose. But when you're in someone else's home or when you're in someone else's body, get what I'm trying to tell you. You now have rules attached to that. And this is what's happening to us. We are dwelling within, appreciate it, thank you. We are dwelling within this system of rules, systems of codes. Like uh, if you paid attention to my old, my last video, I was speaking on a, what is a code or a code? C-O-L-D, C-O-D-E, code. But anyway, so here's what I'm trying to articulate. <clears throat> Parents won't let you out that door. No, you cannot go to that party. And guess what? They're trying to give you what they feel is right. The parent is trying to keep you in their best judgment to do what they feel is right for you. It's not like they're trying to restrict you from having fun. No, you're a bad person. No, you can't go to that party. No, that is not what it is articulating. Fear, A, is what's fueling the parent. So now you're dealing with the fear that's locked away within the memories of your you, you know, your ancestors or the cells within your body still re rehatching, especially if you're a melanated person. Lord, you've been dealing with 400 years of fear. So good luck with that. But anyway, I'm not going to go in a race. This isn't a race. This isn't a race. So if a parent, which is an ancestor, that which comes before you. If a parent restricts you, restricts yourself, self, self, cell, from gaining or learning the possibilities of the cells, which is the multiple cells outside of you, the multiple possibilities of you, your cells. Get it? This is why it's called a cell. You're a self. And you go out in the world to see the other selves. But you cannot connect with the other cells or selves if you do not know thyself because then what happens you end up getting a cold <laughs> it's deep anyway just keep going so if a parent is trying to hold you back or restrict you from the life if an ancestor is trying to hold you back or restrict you from the life well then it would be easy to naturally assume that it happens within our body as well that there are ancestors they're holding back certain capabilities or possibilities within your body. And guess what happens? It ain't going to change. It ain't like they're going to change their tune, change their thought patterns, change their behaviors. Do you know why? Here's why. Because you haven't given them enough belief 
that you are good enough to handle it yourself. I was eight years old when I started to watch myself, when I kind of raised myself. Eight years old. Now, when I was seven, I was getting dropped off by my grandmother's house, and I realized how cost effective this was, and I had to come up with another solution. I had to really show my father that I am capable of handling the world, that I can handle the abilities of myself, the abilities of growing up. And that's, I, I demanded that. I, came, I commanded that. And that's what I obtained. But how many of you are talking to your body, commanding this certain attention, commanding this certain level of respect? Or are you capped? It's a deep thing. Talking to your ancestors, that's talking to your goddamn self. Ancestor money, put some money in your pocket. You wearing the body of your ancestors. It's a deep thing. Now, that's just one degree of it. What's really going on with you? You're being held back by you. But who is you? Well, you are that which comes before you. So you are being held back by... How long do they say uh, the universe has been in existence? That we have been occupying this pocket of known universe, half a million years, 500,000. So you're dealing with 500,000 years of repetition because there's nothing new under a sun. This is why they tell you there's nothing new under a sun. So you can deal with the same thing over and 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 over again. But I got to show y'all more proof to what I'm saying because I don't think people really grasp the level of that comes with simplicity. And here is the beauty or simplicity of what I'm explaining to you. We not we have not reached what we would call adulthood yet. On a spiritual level. 13 billion years, Crown Royal says. So let me help y'all understand that. So we've been in existence for 13 billion years. Just like you have existed for, uh, I'm 33 years old. So I've existed for 33 years. Now, if I was to try to recall my whole existence of the 33 years that I have lived, I probably will be able to tell you a half a year's worth of information. I'm talking about just memory recall because our bodies, our brains haven't, I'm talking about in the current time now. Now, has it changed? Sure. Were we able to retain or store more memories within our mental organ or brain? Sure. But uh, because we're transitioning to more nowism, the ability to recall a vast amount of time is getting more difficult. So even if we have been here 13 billion years, we're only going to be able to recall on a conscious level, on an awareness level, maybe 500,000 years. Now that resonates out into physical things. Carbon date, I mean 500,000 500, years, yeah. Carbon date, certain uh, statues and, and structures here on Earth, you know, because we can't go to other planets and carbon date them. I mean, I guess Mars. So carbon date Mars, carbon date Earth, kind of get a, a, a blueprint how long civilization has kind of been actively moving around in this pocket of the universe. And they're going to give you, you know, the cap between anywhere between 500,000 years and 750,000 years. 500 to a million. Just that small percentage. And that ain't, that ain't even scratching the surface of 13 billion. But once again, we're dealing with the life. We're dealing with the projections of the brain. So everything has to project itself out as so. 
Now, I did the video, uh, I think yesterday, explaining about an age and a title. And how I was trying to explain how uh, we're in the year 2019. So we are 19 years old into what I would call uh, the 2D body or the, the second dimensional self or 2,000 uh, years. <laughs> we are in the 19th, the 19th year of the two. Let's just say that. Here we go. We've completed 999 years of the one. 1999. We are now trying to complete 999 years of the two. But right now, we are dealing with 19. And like I've explained, 19 is like an adult, but it doesn't really get the full capabilities of a full adult. It does not have all of the... Uh, you can't gamble. I think you gotta be 21 to gamble. Yeah, you can't gamble. Maybe it's 18. 21, I don't fucking remember can't drink but you get what I'm saying there's restrictions in the life until you hit 21 and that is what we're all trying to make it to 20 21 so we can be sovereign <laughs> so we can be independent so we can kind of tell the cells within our body bitch I made it to 21 give me the respect I deserve and they kind of have to listen So, that's what we're dealing with. We're dealing with uh, those aspects, timelines, things like that. But let's just keep going. So, we're dealing with a system of duality. If I was explaining this to a four-year-old, I'm saying this is what we're dealing with. We're dealing with an adult word called duality. But all that is, is explaining two sides of something, like a coin. And then I whip out the coin and I say, this represents duality. On one side, you get a head. On the other side, you get a tail. How ironic. We have one of those. It's called a head. It's called a tail. But once again, I say we're only dealing with two dimensions of self. We haven't right reached the third dimension of self yet. We have a head. We have a tail. You're not three-dimensional until things start becoming equal or balanced. You kind of flip your coin every so often. Uh, I'm in my head. Uh, I'm kind of in my heart. Uh, I'm kind of in my thoughts. Uh, I'm kind of in my feelings. You kind of be flipping your coin any chance you get. But like I explained to the children, this is duality. Daytime, nighttime, female, male, day, uh, uh, up, <laughs> down, positive, negative. You know, very simple. Four-year-olds is like, ah, I get it. Yeah, for sure. And then we go to the next step. I say, now guess what? Guess where all of this is coming from? Where did the idea of this quarter come from? Where did the idea of a head and a tail come from? I say, well, guess what? It came from your brain. And every single one of you in here have one of those. So it doesn't matter if you... uh positive or negative if you are a male or female if you are black or white you all have the same tool that created something oh well why is your brain doing this well your brain is kind of built like that there's like one part of your brain that's kind of split in half with the other part of your brain. And they are trying to understand each other. They're trying to understand that which they are placed in. Darkness. Boom, boom, psh. Boom, boom, psh. 
And we all come from darkness. What is this darkness? What? Ken, Kendon. Ken, Ken, Kendron. I'm about to block you. Real shit. You about two minutes from being black. No disrespect. Just hush. Just be quiet. Just listen. Because you throwing me off with, with nonsense. With things that not... But it's a whole brain. Of course. You are a whole being. But you are still split. You are a man that takes on female tendencies. But you are a whole being. Stop. Listen. Absorb. You have your time to shine. So back to the four-year-olds. So I say your brain is doing this. Your brain is doing this to understand that which it comes from. You are made up of that which you come from. We come from darkness. Now, Q, what do you mean we come from darkness? Well, let's use the obvious. A, all of us come from a womb, comes from the belly of a beast, specifically. Because the whole term of a belly and the beast and that whole thing is the woman was defined as the beast. The first beast to ever, ever really take on a personification of a beast is Lilith. But anyway, the first beast or a beastly construct is the feminine or the or, or the, the bastardization of the female into a beast. But you are laying or dwelling within the belly of a beast. This is what it's talking about. You don't stay in no one else's goddamn belly. So who else would you be talking about? What other belly are you in? Where? So when you're in this uh, belly, And, and I want y'all to understand that the belly represents the whole X concept. Remember, like, when you're pregnant, you get the, the pregnant line. I'm not going to go in there, though, because just focus, Q, just focus. Let me go get my iPad. Give me a minute. I ain't gonna end it. I'm just saying, like, kind of rushing. <sighs> Shoot it, doop, 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 down. Don't hit me now. I'm trying to outwalk you. <laughs> trying to outwalk the car. Kendra, this is your time. Get it in, my nigga. This is your time. How you doing? Pick up for Quentin. Quentin. Yeah, it looks a hell of a lot better. Oh, oh. we lit. Look, we working, guys. Doesn't end. No, it doesn't. All right, Quentin, 160 with the tax, you come to 171.20. Ooh. That's why you get apple care on these things. <laughs> <laughs> they don't fix them, they just replace them. I know. I know. Yeah. Are we good? Thank you. See, someone said the line on the belly is a sign of duality. Say that again. Oh, I'm I'm on the phone. I'm on. Uh oh, just, sorry. You're good. You're good. Yeah. Uh oh, that didn't go through. It says critical error. 
critical error on his part though. It says transaction completed. The critical error error seven is based on help test for assistance. <laughs> Thanks for showing that to me. No, nah, no problem. I wanted you to be comfortable, huh? Seven, nine, nine, nine. All right, so if I close that, the semi seat failed. Who cares? You get the receipt on this side. But you already got the receipt. Yeah, my Amex keeps everything up. Yeah, we're good. We're good? All Thank right. you, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it. Amex. Don't leave home without it. <laughs> All right. So we lit now. We good. I'm done. I'm done. I'm finished. The video is only just starting. I still got to drive to my clients, which is like another 35 minutes away. <laughs> everyone left. <laughs> everyone, everyone left. <laughs> Fuck yeah. You got to leave. Whew. We we're all a whole person. Y'all still talking about the, the person thing? I don't be knowing. Y'all be trolling. Q getting deep. I'm all hooked. He needs to get. <laughs> I swear. You know, motherfuckers get super deep like I do. They be like, be like the sage be going. Be like music playing in the background and shit. It be like, how about the right side? You know, all that shit be going on. I mean, I'm at the cell phone phone repair shop <laughs> trying to give y'all the facts of life. The facts of life. All right, so I'm backing up now, backing up now, backing up now. Like, you know how, like, you know, the big lady, she be backing, like, she backing her caboose up. Hold on now, backing up now, backing up. Let, let me back up now. Hold on. All right. 7.30 is uh my estimated ETA. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Y'all yeah, know who... Oh, I'm sorry, because I, I, I be kind of like let, letting y'all have your own conversations, too, because low-key, you know, it's interesting to hear what y'all talk about. But Michelle said, uh, listen, here, we are all a part of one human species. Each of us is a subdivision of one whole entity or deity. Yeah, this is facts. In, uh, in Christian or Catholicism, they worship or worship this being. It's called the Holy Ghost. And they say that they are all the descendants <clears throat> of the whole, whole, whole being, holy, holy ghost. A ghost just represents a past entity or deity. See, words used to have way more symbolic meanings in the past than now. We so singular and then worry about singularity. <laughs> You wouldn't be so worried about singularity if you understood the symbology behind everything we do, say, experience, breathe. Lord. Lord. But no. No. No, no, no. All right. So anyway, darkness. We all dwell in darkness. You dwell within a womb. That womb is dark. Meaning that you're not dealing with the system of light, a.k.a. vision. Now you are dealing with the other senses. Sense of smell, sense of taste, sense of touch, sense of sound. You're dealing with the other senses, but you are not dealing with this for what? Why would you deal with the sense of sight? What are you looking at? <laughs> what do you, why would you have to use that? What would be the purpose of sight in a womb? Gotta ask that question. Now that's just one aspect. We come from darkness. A womb. But science also tells you what? What does science tell you? They say that all life came from where? Let's see how many uh, smart smart individuals we have in the, in the 
in the uh, live today. Y'all all smart. I'm just trolling y'all. Y'all all have a certain level of intelligence. But who wants to answer that? I'll be patient. Don't worry, I'll wait. But science tells us all life came from where? Even if you say space, the things in space had to fall to somewhere or something. So, where did life spark, germinate? First off, what do you need for things to germinate? Like if you have, like things don't grow in the desert. Why? Why? Why don't things grow in the desert? Because what do you need to grow <laughs> for life to flourish? So uh, Crown Royal said we all came from Mass, the Big Bang, the One. In that Mass, which represents density or depth took on a personification water fluid thank you water correct we all come from water you need water to survive water to spring forward this is why it rains in the spring you need water so if we all come from water does water deal with darkness or light remember there's water in that womb dealing with memories but there's very little light within an ocean within a body of water Light's kind of just at the surface. That's no different than uh, you. Well, I've tried to explain we only use 10% of our brain mass. So that's only 10% of light to the 90% of darkness within our body or brain. We use 10% of the internet. 90% is dark, dark web. We have been able to calculate and observe 10% of the known universe while 90% remains dark why don't we explore the ocean or why don't we have information on the ocean because the ocean is a representation of our space you can't explore the ocean if you can't explore the space you can't explore space if you can't explore the ocean they're one and the same you're only getting 10% of light do you know the more tasty fish the ones that are in the darkness or in the depth Thus the dead fish concept. So we all come out of dark cycles. And then there is something that you pay attention to. As soon as you leave the dark cycle. And that is what you call light. Sight or vision. Alright, so let me just keep going. So, in order to get into a subconscious regression, that's like a service I offer. In order to put your mind into a regressive state, what does it mean to regress? It just means to go back towards. So, kind of like back to the future would represent regression. Back towards. So, it's like forward back motion. <laughs> words weird anyway to get into a uh, to go back into the subconscious that's what a subconscious regression is but what is this what does it mean i don't get it four years old remember i'm trying to school the four-year-olds so if i was talking to a four-year-old i would explain it like this i say what we're dealing with is that split again in your brain where it's trying to understand the darkness it's in. Well, one, in order to understand the darkness, certain aspects of yourself have to stay dark. 
You gotta know a thing to know a thing. You can understand the darkness if an aspect of you does not stay dark. So, guess what? You cast a shadow. Guess what? You are a dark being, whether you like it or not. <laughs> whether you want to acknowledge it or not, loved ones. Whether you want to fight this truth or not, loved ones. <laughs> you are a dark deity or entity. Because that's the only way you can be balanced to understand the darkness within yourself. You're going to tell me you don't have dark parts? Half of y'all motherfuckers claim to be melanated people, so that's fucking darkness. <laughs> you're going to say you're a dark being but not acknowledge darkness? This shit is weird. I don't get it. Weird flex. Anyway, so... <clears throat> so a part of you has to kind of stay dark. While another part of you kind of stays light or illuminates. You don't really stay light. <laughs> you spark light. So then you kind of spark this illumination. And it takes a lot of energy to stay lit. And we haven't really mastered energy of uh, absorption or consumption yet. So guess what? We only light up 10% because <laughs> you haven't mastered the signs of energy yet. <laughs> it's so deep. I just be laughing because you don't understand where my brain works. Anyway, so that 10% that's lit is considered your consciousness. Because consciousness is nothing more, more than awareness. And your awareness is your consciousness. At the moment, because you only aware or allow yourself to be aware of your light body or your light while you sleep during your darkness. Listen, I can't make this shit up. This is in your face science. You literally sleep through your darkness and only acknowledge your light body. But then guess what? What happens to your light body? It's being ruled. It's being coded. You, are, you gotta go to work. You gotta be a parent. PTA meetings, fucking driving on the highway. Oh, I'm hungry. <laughs> it's coded. <laughs> you don't get to choose what you do in your light. This shit is crazy. Just like you don't choose your thoughts, because that's what your light body is. Shit is crazy. You living in someone else's thoughts. Shit is crazy. You living in someone else's tin. Tin man. Robot. AI. Mind of the machine. Hey, hey, hey. Like I said, a lot of shit I say is like going to be picked up later on. <laughs> later. 2015, 2025, I mean, they're going to be like, oh, I get it. I'm trying to be in space by then. So anyway. So. You only get 10% of consciousness or awareness. And that 10% of consciousness or awareness is broken up evenly. It's pretty deep. 10% adds up to a 10. And 10 can be divided with two fives. Oh, wait, hold on a minute now. Two fives. Well, I got something called the five senses. Yes, you do. And do you know what your five senses are? The tools of your conscious? Because your five senses is giving you your state of consciousness or your system of awareness. And it is your five senses that is dual. You uh, absorb and acknowledge everything that's your subconscious. And then you kind of pick and choose what you want to acknowledge or pay attention to. That's your conscious. If you were to close, everyone's to close their eyes right now. Their ears, their taste, their sound, all those amplified. Anyway, let's keep going. So, your five senses become the tools of your consciousness. And out of your five senses, you focus on one specific sense. Sense of sight. I've said this before. But once again, is your sight your own? Or are you constantly looking at others' creations? Constantly looking at what others design, produce, manifest. It's 
deep thing. So, you're going to have to start learning the tools of your subconscious. Meaning the tools that you're kind of unaware of. You ain't aware of your heart until something's wrong with it. Then you focus on it. Oh my God, he broke my heart. That bitch. Oh. Oh, then you paying attention, huh? Oh, okay. Then you shift your awareness, huh? Oh, okay. So you don't even pay attention to your own heart until someone stabs the bitch. Oh, okay. You don't pay attention to your own heart until some country tells you to pledge allegiance. Oh, okay. And then now I'm kind of paying attention to this thing they call a heart. Oh, okay. You don't even pay attention to the power of your own voice. You wait for fucking Beyonce to come and say to shake your dairy in. And then you like, uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Then you paying attention to your goddamn throat. Oh, okay. I see. Huh. Huh. But you damn sure paying attention to your five senses. Oh, that smells good. Mmm, I'm hungry. Oh, this silk. Oh, I want that silk, that Versace. Sure, you pay attention to that shit. Bruh, weird fucking flex. <laughs> and this is what's going on with you. Easy. In a nutshell. I just meditated and have thanks to each part of my body. The body is holding my priceless soul. Thank you. But your soul has a price on it. And that's because your soul has something attached to it called an ego or a higher self. And it put itself in a position to be higher than self. What the fuck? Time out. What happened? We in this fucking spiritual community going stupid hard over something called a higher self. And don't even realize the bitch put itself higher than self. Weird flex. Weird flex. How many motherfuckers been on this goddamn platform for the last 10 years giving y'all mumbo jumbo about some goddamn higher self? How many? How many? It's crazy. It's crazy. But uh, the moment you don't really uh, put value to this shit, all of it is priceless because it's yours. How could you put a price on you? I love y'all. Don't get mad at me. I'm just trying to give y'all truth. How could you put a price on you? I'm a pastor. I deserve a hundred K. Bitch, how do you put a price on you? Weird. Who? That's what y'all all lost in. Who? Are you? The fact that you got to ask the question in the first place gets you lost. Y'all understand? They are getting y'all enslaved within yourself. Because yourself is consistent of cells or selves 
And they want to have rule over you. We're dealing with the finite. We're dealing with the fin. I'm beginning to value my pricelessness. Word. Then y'all could get out of this uh, Nova. Now, in Latin, Nova means nine. But I'm telling y'all, y'all's trapped within what you would call 9 11. And nine is what's keeping you here. And then the 11 is the reflective soul. Constantly putting you in a shock. Now, November is the 11th month. Yet it holds on to the frequency of nine. In November, you are honoring and praising the deity that locks your ass in here. It's known as the Gobble King, the Gibble, the Jibble, the Gable, the Gable. <laughs> hey. And uh, able, gay, bull, able, able process. And this is the guy that rules over the indigenous self or uh, the wolf inside you trying to prevent you, or not trying to prevent, well, trying to prevent you from staying a wolf and kind of domesticate you into a dog. Into a civilized beast. Once again, females, remember who's honoring you every uh, full moon. How? And they're trying to turn your beast from natural into a uh, artificial, civilized, conditioned. How? Hence, I don't celebrate Thanksgiving. I'm with you. How many of y'all ever seen a picture of a... Uh, it's like a devil and it's like eating beings. It's like a it's like a picture. I guess they try to show a, the picture of hell or whatever, but it's like a being of like a devil. And it's like eating. People, beings, entities... Shit like that. That's what this being represents. It has a whole cult following of beings that consume flesh. Essence. <laughs> we need the essence. Give me the essence. Why? Because you lost the S. S's. Give me the S's. Get it? What is the S's? Spirit. Soul. Give me the S's. Essence. Y'all don't grasp these words. <laughs> I do. Can't can't trick me. Bitch. <laughs> bitch, bitch. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> you ain't tricking me. <laughs> bitch, bitch. <laughs> Liar. You hear me? You, bitch, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> zoo health club elite. I don't want to go to no fucking health club that calls it a zoo. What the fuck? I think I'm done. I think I'm done. I think I'm done. <laughs> I think I'm done. I said, I said, uh, I said enough stuff today. Got any questions, comments, or concerns about the stuff I talked about today?
Because I came to certain realizations today, too. Like, you know, whoo, <laughs> how do you put a value on yourself, yo? Damn. Whoo, fuck. We got so much deprogramming to do. People love the oppressor. That's why a majority of people still celebrate these traditions, these rituals. Remember, once again, humble. We're dealing with ancestors. And your 400 year old ancestor, 400 year old slave entitled minded ancestors have been force fed rituals and bullshit and religions and all that other shit for the last 400 years. So once again, you live in the animations of them and they kind of praise God every Sunday and made a big old turkey feast and all that shit. <laughs> your grandmother, your grandmother's grandmother, and your grandmother's grandmother's grandmother all did that shit. And guess what? They all in you. You are that which comes before you. You got to tell, you got to be like, Grandma, listen, hold on, Grandma. Like, listen, Grandma. Grandma, like, do you get what we doing? Like, we represent the indigenous here on this planet. Like, we are the indigenous in the den, in ditch, in the den. Like, we in the motherfucking den. We in here. We ain't on. We ain't in. We are in. We are in being. We are in this bitch. How the hell are we praising some shit that's outside this bitch? Ho, 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 ho. Wait a minute now. Or you can transmute it, because don't get lost. I'm damn sure eating some food for Thanksgiving. For sure. But you got to know how to transmute energy. Once again, awareness is key. How can something affect, how can something, how can someone's cold affect you? If you masked up. Steep thing. Now y'all wonder why, uh. Well, y'all got one to why, but what is the uh, the fixation with mask? Remember, something's trying to project its code onto your uh, your essence, and your essence is associated with you or what you define you as. But when you augment you. And that's what people have to understand. A mask is augmented reality. You are augmenting your physical essence. Well then, in augmentation, things can actually be uh, altered, <laughs> augmented, <laughs> changed. <laughs> so uh, sometimes I have to stay masked up. And I'm using the word mask for a reason because it has a similar word to it, mask, M-A-S-S. -S. Some of y'all have to stay masked up, representing a density. But who or what would represent that density, that weight, that which comes before you? <laughs> but are they up? Is your ancestors up inside you or is they sleeping? Is your DNA activated or is it dormant, waiting for another motherfucker to come save the day? Is your Neo awoken in the trinity of you? Or are you still only using your two eyes and not really opening or using the all-seeing eye, which is why Neo was blind? Because you know your eyeballs is not able to see all spectrums of light. Not no microwave, not no ultraviolet waves. Nope. Your eyes is capped. You have limited-ass eyeballs. So guess what would be considered the all-seeing eye? It would be that little seed inside your brain, known as a pineal gland. 
that would be your all-seeing eye that has the ability to see the all of you and it's either all or nothing when it comes to that I'm being honest with you bro I'm seeking as I go but we're from niggas ain't trying to hear me or where I'm from niggas ain't trying to hear me stop trying to talk to these niggas but I'm learning as I go and implementing as I go. But yeah, I'm going to eat because I eat every day, LOL. But yeah, champ, I'm honestly here to listen and feed my spirit's curiosity. All right, this is the last thing I'm going to say. I'm going to end this. At the end of the day, we all consume it. It's all about consumption or absorption. That's not going to change. But what you have to understand is a lot of the people you're dealing with in this life is already full. Do you know why they're already full? Because they full off bullshit. Real shit. They full off of bullshit. And if I was to feed your ass right now, let's go to the goddamn buffet. And I was to overstuff your ass and then say let's leave this restaurant and let's go to another buffet you go look at me like i'm fucking crazy like bitch i'm full i don't want that shit hell no i'm full yeah you fucking right full of the bullshit go take a laxative and shit that shit out what the fuck that's why y'all bloat it now that's why y'all look like goddamn balloons now full of air shit is fucking weird so, tell these motherfuckers to go get a spiritual laxative, shit out some of the bullshit, and when they're ready to get fed by some real shit, you'll be here. Where are you going? You consuming the real essence, the real life. Where are you going? They getting the fuck out of here quicker than you. So, nigga, you go be around, especially if you think you go be around. Where are you going? Grasp. You motherfuckers is lost. Weird flex. Not you. At least you curious. We got motherfuckers gonna be running to Walmart for the Thanksgiving fucking Eve. You don't even understand what the hell they running to. Full of the bullshit. Full of it. Mm. I feel great. I bet. You look great too. Oh, hot air balloon ass motherfucker. Think I'm supposed to respect your hot balloon headed ass? Hell no. Gassed up. It ain't even floating. You like one of them wasted ass balloons that don't even have helium in them. For real, this is the lost, the lost sheep. This is literally, they're like them balloons that stay on the floor. What the fuck is the purpose of a balloon on the floor? I don't know. <clears throat> so is it impossible to digest what I'm saying? Wait. So it's impossible for them to digest what I'm saying. I, I, I don't know. I think you said that. Um, nah. It's just they got to go through a purge. Because what would happen if you ate too much? You go throw up. Or you go be shitting for the next five days. Either way, you go purge the body. So it's not impossible for them to digest the information. No, they could keep eating. But they're, in, they're then going to have a purge. And unfortunately, they're not going to be able to hold everything down. So some of the stuff that was said, that you said, I said, whatever, is going to be absorbed. But not everything. Now, I need y'all to understand, a lot of people who watch me go through this purge. They listen to me and they be like, bitch, what the fuck you just say to me? And they be ready, they be big mad. They be ready to gobble, gobble up some shit. Yeah, uh -huh. I know where y'all pulling from. Yeah, sure. 
But then it absorbs. Wait, but I mean, at the end of the day, he's still saying it's me. How many people out here really saying this is me? How many people out here really saying that I have the capabilities of accessing me? Hmm. Maybe I should listen some more. You know what I mean, people? See, here's the thing. On my YouTube, I'm aware when someone, like, unfollows and then follows. Uh, okay, I guess I can go that way. So, you know how I many people I see that like follows me, then unfollows me, and then follows again? I'd be like, damn, I must have said something that pissed you off today. <clears throat> but it's all right. Anger gets shit done. And I mean, this ain't for y'all to be like some old fight club shit, Brad Pitt, ready to fucking burn down America. Chill. This is not an external an anger. So let me help people understand when I say anger gets shit done. We're talking about an internal anger. An internal spark. An internal rage. That allows certain things to turn on. Because that's what a light represents. And when you turn that bitch on, ooh, does things get done. But none of y'all are angry enough within self. Y'all complacent. Y'all comfortable. Getting fed the bullshit. So, once again, why are we dealing with a bullshit? Why are we dealing with a gay bull? Why are we dealing with Bibles? Grab the bull by his horns. Huh. Huh. It's probably a sexual term. Everything low key be sexual in this weird ass world. Grab a bull by his horns. <laughs> Grab the damn hip bones. <laughs> Get, get over here. Get over here. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, no. Don't be grabbing no poles by the horn. Please don't. Let me live my best life. I'm a boy, Damien. I'm a boy. <sighs> Being sick of your own bullshit. It's a deep thing. It's a deep thing. I don't know where the fuck I'm at. I'm out here though. All the way. Oh yeah. And to my weed connect. And I know she ain't watching because I don't know if she watched these videos. But you whack as fuck for not coming to meet me. Boy, you corny as shit for not coming to meet me. Cause now you making me do more driving. My client did say he's smoking weed though. I'ma ask his, his connect. Yo connect trying to pull up? Cause I ain't here for the bullshit. I ain't here for the bullshit. I ain't here for the bullshit. All right, I'm about to end this. So if y'all uh, any questions, comments, or concerns, y'all can drive it now. I'm like four minutes from my destination. On top of uh, me being four minutes from my destination, I uh, I appreciate y'all. <clears throat> Um, I'm uh, I'm still around cars, so I ain't too nervous. So till next time. <clears throat>